In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to stand out and get your first marketing internship. These are genuine tips from my personal experiences interviewing for marketing jobs at Disney, the NBA, Dish, and a plethora of marketing agencies and startups. This video is for anybody looking to take their first steps into marketing and even for those who have struggled to get an entry level job in marketing and are looking for a nice addition to their resume. Approximately 70% of employers offer their interns full-time positions. Over 70% of Google, Facebook, and IBM workers were first interns. I'm a product of that process as well. Don't work on any other timeline other than your own. And what people think you do you hi my name is Andreas Slaughter marketing manager marketing man and generally interested in all things marketing I'm currently 22 years old and live in Orange County California and with that out of the way enjoy the video tip number one is to make your resume boring the first thing any recruiter will see is your resume but you don't want to stand out as counterintuitive as that might sound recruiters go through hundreds of applications per job posting what matters is providing all the juicy relevant material in the most easy to read format for the recruiter too many times I've rejected a candidate because they put their picture in their resume or they added too much non-relevant information to the resume adding too many personal pieces of of information can give the recruiter biases if they don't already have some because yes they are human too an ideal resume should have three to four sentences outlining with quantitative data your accomplishments in each role limit the number of roles to no more than four summary of your professional career brief education outline and then finally your skills and certifications that's it and you'll probably want to clean up your social media profile and presence in general because recruiters nowadays will stalk your profile to gain more insight into who you are as a person which i know is creepy tip number two is to keyword optimize the biggest thing you're going to run into when you create your resume and submit it for jobs is application tracking systems or ats for short which sort resumes based on certain keywords that are included on that resume. 75% of all recruiters use some sort of applicant tracking system and 98% of Fortune 500 companies use an ATS program when hiring new employees. So the best way to ensure that your application gets sorted favorably is to keyword optimize. Do not keyword stuff, which is to overload your resume to the point of it being disingenuous. Leverage the job posting itself, sourcing some keywords from that position or relevant positions and adding them to your resume when you submit that application. For a general example, if you were to apply to a marketing manager role at Amazon, you might need some general skills or keywords included in your resume, such as communication, leadership, and problem solving. And people who tell you to add the entire job posting to your resume and turn the text white are not only idiots but they're probably unemployed idiots as well haters stay mad tip number three is to determine your strengths when you start looking for internships on indeed or linkedin or any other job board don't go buck wild and apply to all the internships you see instead apply against your strengths meaning take a look at your resume and compare it to the requirements and skills of the job posting and see if it's even a right fit for you for example, if you had a background and a solid grasp of social media, then you'd likely focus on social media related internships. If you had a good understanding of writing, you might focus on getting a copywriting or email marketing internship. The list goes on to analytics, strategy, digital, and event marketing internships. One of the best ways to do this is to research the skills that the marketing employees have for the company that you're wanting to intern for. Open up LinkedIn, go to Amazon's profile, and click on the people tab and type in marketing in the search bar. Here you can browse Amazon's marketing talent and browse their profiles to gain some insight into what skills slash experience they have and what you might need to add or learn. Some might even have their resume uploaded. I'm slowly creating an army of Joes. Think of this as required reading when you want to apply to a marketing internship. It will increase your chances of getting chosen for an interview. I've definitely seen applications from interns who had the exact skills I was looking for. They got moved up the list regardless of their education or experience because if you say you have those skills and you can prove that you have them to the ability at which you say you have them, I want you on my team. And tip number four is reach out to recruiters. This is probably my most recent addition to my personal application process, and it's super simple. After every submitted application, reach out to the recruiter and introduce yourself. 
why you're messaging, and how excited you are about being considered. The trick is finding the recruiter, which again might take some sleuthing on LinkedIn. But like, what if you can't find them on LinkedIn? The last way I know of is to use the contact us part of the company's website. Again, this is to be more formal, but still include an introduction, why you're messaging, and even the job requisition number to find your application easier. The requisition number is usually located at the bottom of the job posting and looks like this. And finally, tip number five, be yourself. When you actually interview, the best way to stand out and get your first marketing internship is to just be yourself. Too many times I've interviewed candidates that turn themselves into robots and commit themselves to talk tracks that try too hard at trying to tell me what I want to hear. Tell the recruiter what you want them to hear. Too often it's prepping for what you think the interviewer wants to hear. Marketing is an art and so is the application and interview process. It's about getting in front of the right person at the right time with the right things every time. It's your interview and sometimes the best way to stand out amongst hundreds of applicants is to show them who you are. Leverage your personality and unique skills to highlight your experiences and skills in only a way that you can do. The best intern candidates that I've ever interviewed were the ones that stayed personable throughout the entire interview process. For example, I was interviewing for a data marketing intern and one of the questions, I was getting really personal and I was talking about a story and she ended up asking me about the story and about my life from that small little tidbit that I went off on. And I just thought to myself, wait a second, who's interviewing who again? And then I quickly realized that that was highly impressive. She was trying to break the ice more than I was and I was so impressed by the end of the interview. She didn't know it at the time, but I had already made my decision on who I was going to hire. And yes, she, she got the good ending, she unlocked the good ending, I did end up hiring her. Again, in short summary, here are the top five tips to stand out and get your first marketing internship. Make your resume boring, optimize for keywords, determine your strengths, reach out to recruiters, and be yourself. Can you believe you made it to the end of the video? I can't either. Look, you should probably just like this video and subscribe. It'll stay between you and me, I promise. And until next time, my name is Andreas. Take care consistently. Cross my name off the list. This is without rhyme.